Hi guys, how's it going? It's Sam here from Growth and in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how our roofing clients are growing past six figures per month using just Facebook ads. So thanks for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. We're gonna be doing lots of great videos around home improvements, construction and social media growth. Um, and if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like our page or if you're watching this on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, wherever you're watching this. Um, so you don't miss us when we post a video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through um, five steps um, that our clients or construction businesses that we work with are using and things we notice from those clients um, that's helping them go from zero pounds spent on Facebook ads to doing well over 100,000 pounds per month on when it comes to roofing. And we can talk specifically what types of roofing, um, but, you know, 100,000 pounds per month in revenue um, and what they're doing and how you can apply that to your own business um, to get similar results. So just firstly, let me overlay some clips on the screen or some screenshots on the screen of clients um, who, you know, in just a short space of time are seeing rapid growth um, when it comes to their roofing companies. Um, we're talking about, you know, conservatory roofing companies, insulation companies, house roofing, you know, tide and slate companies, things like that. Um, and what we can do is we can jump straight into our five steps and they've got one bonus step at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. So step one is to refine your sales process. Um, if you were to generate 100 leads through Facebook ads and convert 5% when compared with 15%, you can imagine that that ROI and backend revenue you're gonna get from your investment is gonna be so, so much higher. So putting more attention into the process of your sales, making sure that you're maximizing the contacts with the leads, making sure you're doing everything you can to close as many deals as you possibly can, refining your sales skills and your customer service is gonna have a massive impact when it comes to your results with Facebook ads. The worst thing you can think is just assume that just because the lead's been generated, that that is the job done. That is, couldn't be further from the truth. And the clients we work with that, you know, for example, one of, this, one of our roofing clients, which I'll overlay a clip on the screen in his first week did about 40,000 or 30,000 pounds in deals um, from just first six or seven leads, which is crazy conversion rate. He closes about 30% because he puts extreme effort into every single lead that comes through the pipeline and he doesn't miss anything. Okay, so that is the first step. So step two um, is specialize in one area. Now you might think roofing is one area. When it comes to Facebook ads, the riches are in the niches, as they say in America, but the riches are in the niches. So the more specific you can go with your campaign, the better. So I'm talking conservative roofing, talking um, insulated roofing, I'm talking interior roofing, we're talking roof, um, house roofing, whatever it is that you do, go as specific as you possibly can, but always advertise your product with the consumer in mind. So don't use terminology and lingo that the consumer, the customer isn't gonna understand. Make sure you um, pitch it and you word it, the product, um, so that people can understand what it is that you're doing, what benefits do you solve. Um, so for example, a big one for us is conservatory roofing. When we go specific, typically the leads cost 50%, 60% less, and the ROI is 56% higher, the more specific we go. Um, when we're super general, the leads typically cost twice, if not three times as much as they are if we're specific. It allows Facebook to optimize properly and improve things over time. All your leads are from random industries and random niches, um, it's not gonna allow Facebook to optimize properly um, and you're just not gonna get as much bang for your buck when it comes to your investment with it. Um, so number three, sorry, step number three um, is to optimize for every stage of the funnel. So really quickly, let's explain what a funnel is um, in 30 seconds. So a funnel is taking a user from Facebook, seeing your ad or interacting with your business for the first time through to becoming a customer. So we've got a few um, main areas I'm gonna um, walk you through. So the first one um, is having eye-catching ads. So making sure the creative you're using, the videos, the photos are extremely eye-catching. They look fantastic. They look like normal posts on the newsfeed. Try not to use big, bold text on there. Try not to overload it with offers and, and numbers and stuff like that. Try and keep it super, um, what we call native. So it looks like a normal post on Facebook. So things that work quite great are before and after photos um, or actual videos of you at work, you know, doing the jobs or um, just photos of the finished product. Things like that work extremely well. So eye-catching ads. Um, the second stage of the funnel is to have a very simple landing page um, that drives a simple um, conversion. So that landing page should have everything the user needs to see in one place. So above the fold, as soon as they click from your ad onto that landing page, it needs to have everything the user needs and nothing more. So we're talking a headline, um, some testimonials or some sort of um, you know, uh, trust 
So trust pilot reviews, check a trade reviews, stuff like that. It needs to have a few clear benefits. So why are you best in the competition? Give three to four to five reasons as to why. Really clear button, even maybe add emojis on that button. And then a nice before and after photo typically is what we use um, of maybe a roof before you did the job and then the roof after. Something like that is gonna convert super, super high. It's not that complicated to do. You can go and find any, any online um, you know, landing page builders out there. You can create a subscription and you can create a really highly in, uh, converting landing page. Don't send traffic to your website. So that is the third, um, so that's the second stage of the funnel. Third stage is to have a great follow-up process in place, as I said to you at the, um, the first step. Um, and then the last one is to have um, great follow-through and sales. So when I say step three, which was the um, follow-up process in place, Whenever someone inquires through your website, whenever someone inquires through your landing page, make sure you send them an email automatically, you send them a text message. Um, stay top of mind with that person so that when you then call them, the chance of them picking up the phone is that much higher. So that is the fourth one, which is have great follow-up um, and have great sales skills and abilities and put a lot of effort into that. If you nail those four things, which again were eye-catching ads, simple landing page, um, good follow-up, so you know retargeting them with um, text messages and emails, and then last one, having a great sales process, um, you know, you, you'll get it right every single time. So step four out of five um, is to be prepared to get 30, 40 leads through your funnel before you make any decisions. The worst thing you can do is generate three or four leads, say, no, nope, these leads are no good, and then completely give up on Facebook ads entirely. You need to get enough leads through the door to test and make sure that it's working. Imagine your close percentage was anywhere from 10 to 20%, which is the average probably what it's gonna be from paid ads. Um, if you only get 10 leads, you've literally only given yourself 10 leads to potentially close 10%. It's just not enough of a ballpark figure to start with. Get 20, 30, 40, 50 leads through your funnel before you make any changes. Um, and then you can assess the success of the funnel. Typically clients in our first month get anywhere from 30 to 100 leads. Um, and from there we assess changes moving forward, but we don't make any changes until we've got enough leads through the door and we can assess proper conversion rates and optimize, optimize on the back end of that. Step five, which leads on from step four, is be prepared to spend some money to acquire these leads. Don't go spending five pounds a day expecting revolutionary results. If we're talking about roofing here, we're talking anywhere from five grand up to 20 grand for a, you know, a house re-roof or a conservatory re-roof. These are high ticket products, expensive products with nice big margins. You can't expect to spend 50 pounds, 20 pounds, 10 pounds to get a roofing job worth six grand. If you're spending a thousand pounds to get a roofing job that's worth 10 grand, let's say, you're make, you're, you've got a 10x ROI, that's fantastic, and you've still got lots of profit there to play around with. So our clients who are making 100 grand a month in roofing deals, typically spending anywhere from three grand to five grand in advertising to generate that ROI, but you know there's still loads of profit there. So you have to be prepared to you know spend a bit of money to make some money. So that's the biggest thing. It's, if something's working for you, don't be afraid to push the budget and spend more to grow that business to where it is today. A lot of our clients will do um, you know, spend a thousand pounds in advertising in the first month and then they'll make 20, 30, 40 grand back and then they'll double their budget for the second month and that's where they really push six figures, okay? So that was the fifth step. And the bonus step I've got, which is gonna really help you leverage, um, you know, your business to get more customers and more results is to treat every um, job that you do as a, you know, customer generating experience. Take photos before and afters post those photos online, generate a trust pilot review from that person, ask for recommendations. You know, if you can turn one customer into two or three customers, you're gonna make a lot more money on the back end and it ultimately means you can spend more to acquire a new customer um, and you don't have to worry too much about overspending when you're advertising. So that was um, five steps that are, you know, we're helping our clients um, use to get more jobs and grow their, you know, grow their ROI. So grow their revenues past six figures, we're doing past 100,000 pounds per month using Facebook ads. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. As, as I said, um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube um, or follow us on, on Facebook or Instagram if you're watching on those platforms. Um, and if you're interested in chatting to us about how we can help you grow your business, um, your home improvements company, um, we work with over 30 home improvements companies across the UK. We're doing well over half a million in sales for our clients. Make sure you hit the link in the description, um, book in a call with us and we'll speak to you soon. But other than that, I'll speak to you in the next video.